Hi everybody, how are you guys doing tonight? Say hello as you come in. Let me know you're here. Okay, I think we got things going. Make sure this is good. Okay, I think we are good. So how is everyone doing tonight? Let me see, is it working? It's being funny on my phone, I can't see anything. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it'll start to work. Hey Mary, hey Great Grace, hey Thelma, hey Ryan, how are you? So I thought I would come on here tonight, we're going to make this little snowman. Hello Darlene, I got him from um, Craft Outlet. So, um, oh good Linda, I'm glad everything's good. Hope everything's well, I can't, the, let me go back out and come back in. Sorry guys, let me see if I can figure this out on my phone so I can see your comments. It's being funky, it's being funky. So how is everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys are well. Let's try this, there we go. Okay, try it again. Yay, there we are. Hey Karen, hey Kathy. All right, so. We have this little, hey Jackie, hey Ernestine, have this little snowman person that came with um, arms and legs. So we're going to be using that. And I have, of course, a bunch of things pulled because I never know what I'm going to end up using. Wow, 50 degrees right now? Now that's crazy. But what, tomorrow? Is it tomorrow that's fall already? I don't know. It's crazy. All right, so we are going to use this cool mesh. Hey, Jackie. I'm good, Tracy. How are you? Hey, Deborah. Isn't this nice? Got this from um, Joanne's last year, end of year. So I'm going to be doing the ruffle method, and I have some really pretty ribbons I'm going to use. So, and I got my frame all ready to go. So if you guys could share this, I would appreciate it. I would appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. So let me get these out of the way. And we will get started. So what are you guys all up to these days? Anything good? Thanks, Tracy. I appreciate it. You guys know how much I love to do the ruffle method, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let me see. I'm a little tilted here. Let me see if I can fix it a little bit so you guys can see it. Okay. Now I need to jump a little bit. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Hello. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to zoom in a little so you guys can see what I'm doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love this mesh. Isn't this pretty? Oh, don't you always reorganize your craft room, Tracy? I know I do. I don't know. So I'm going to fold that under. And I fold it under because of the rough edge. Hey, Janet. Um, it just kind of hides it a little bit. So I just fold it under to kind of get it out of the way. And then you know, what you can do is you can put something on it so it kind of stays straight for you, but I need something heavier. There's this battery sliding down. Oh, yeah, some Joann's have some really good stuff. And then I'm just going to kind of keep it straight. And then I am going to tuck this edge under. So again, so that raw edge is not showing. Okay, and then it looks like that. And I'm going to put it in each of my ties. And as you guys know, or those of you that haven't seen how I do my work wreaths, what I do is I make my own work wreaths with the dollar store frames. I don't know, I just like them better. I think they fit between a screen door better also. I take a full pipe cleaner and put it on every crossbar in the first um, the inner ring here and then the third ring at the crossbar 
I put a half one and then in between the crossbars I put a full one and what I do is I don't put um oh hey well welcome hey Susie Brown how are you hey Melody um, I don't put my um, ribbon streamers in the half ones I just think it's too full so um, Susie Brown is the inventor of this wonderful um, mesh holder so if you guys are looking for something like that make sure you get it I do have an affiliate link there so make sure you get one from her they are fabulous I love them oh yeah I know it's supposed to get cooler um, I don't know who knows it's, it's um, you know in Pennsylvania it can be 90 one day and then 60 the next you just never know what you're gonna get in Pennsylvania <laughs> So again, I just fold under that rough edge and then I just start ruffling. You kind of want to keep it somewhat centered and then I make sure I fold that edge over also so you don't have the roughness. And then I put it in my thing. Hey, Stephanie, thank you. I know, right? But then we'll be complaining. I don't know about you guys, but then as soon as it gets cold, I'll be complaining that it's too cold or that there's snow or something. You know, there's always something to complain about. I love this mesh. Isn't that pretty? I'm doing 30 inch ruffles, Tracy. Sorry if I didn't say that. So I just, yeah, I got this mesh last year at Joann's. I like to, when the season's over, really go on the hunt for supplies. Because a lot of times you can get them at really good prices. You know where you pay four or five times as much so I try um, to get a lot of supplies at the end of the season oh thanks Linda yeah it is isn't it it's really a premium mesh it's really nice quality and it's really sparkly and I love it 40 whoo wow I don't know if I'm ready for 40 yet but Yeah, I have a um, bunch of mesh, or not mesh, um, a bunch of um, of the plush kits. I posted a couple on my um, Etsy shop, and I have a bunch more. So I think I'm going to be making mesh kits for the next couple of times because I really, or not uh, plush kits, I need to say. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh. Ooh, our numbers are low tonight. I am doing 30 inch ruffles. This is 10 inch mesh and I am doing the I cut it to 30 inches. Okay. Oh hey Luann, how are you? I know, isn't it pretty? I got it from Joann's at the end of the year last year. Because you know, if you wait until stuff comes out, hey Kathy from Colorado. Hey Donna. If you wait until stuff comes out, like the new year, a lot of times you're already making stuff by the time um, you used to get them and you don't now. Um, type live in the comments here, Rana, and then um, you should get a response. And when you get that response, you have to um, respond with live again, I think it is. Hey, Barb. Um, but if, if you don't respond to the message that it sends you, then you aren't, um, that's really weird. If you used to get them, you should still get them, but I don't know. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Raina. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Paula. So, yeah, you should get a message right back. Um, and you have to respond to that message in order to start getting them, but I don't know why. Oh, they don't carry mesh? Yeah, you know, um, a lot of the Joann's, like some of the ones we had, they didn't carry it either. And then the one place redid their store, and now um, they carry some. They don't carry a ton, but they do carry some. Sandra, aren't you already... Um, 
subscribed. You didn't get a message this time, Luann? Huh. I wonder. I know I, I scheduled it. It was a really busy day. So, oh, good, Ronna. Good, 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 good. So, um, I set this all up last night. So, hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. You know what? I don't even know if I got a message. I probably set it up wrong or something. Who knows? But I don't know. So again, I'm just using 10 inch mesh and I'm doing 30 inch ruffles. And um, you didn't get one. Wait, let me um, check something here and see if it even went out. Because it might, maybe I set it up wrong or something. Nope, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't work. Huh. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I apologize for that. I will see what I did wrong and, um, hopefully it'll work next time. I don't know. That's why I scheduled it too. So, um, I thought I did anyway, but maybe I messed it up. Good, good, good. Oh, you got one, Darlene? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Because I didn't get one. Um, but who knows? Oh, good, Grace. You got one? My favorite aunt's name was Grace. And Ernestine, you got one. Hmm, I don't know. You know what? I will have to check and make sure. I don't know what's going on with it, but who knows? Yes. Hi, Paula. How are you? Oh, good. Kathy got one. Jackie got one. Oh, good. I don't know. Huh. I'll have to go and make sure that you... Um... Oh, good. Stephanie got one. I don't know because I don't have them in my inbox and normally it floods my inbox with them. So, who knows? I think I did it last night at like 9.30, 10 o'clock. Look how pretty that is already. I love this mesh. I only have two rolls of it. I wish I would have gotten more. They probably didn't have it, but um, I know, isn't it pretty? Hey, Sandy, how are you? I don't know what's going on. I just did last okay good Paula yeah hopefully um, you don't see the link oh the link to your um, mesh holder Susie I will have to type it in because I did sign up for your affiliate program Everything's wonky today. I know. Isn't it really pretty? Sure, that would be great, Susie. Susie, like I said, Susie is the inventor of the mesh holders. And I do have an affiliate link. So if you guys are interested in getting one, which they're wonderful. I use it all the time. I, can't, I don't think I can cut mesh without it anymore. Um, I love it. I cut these 30 inches, Brenda. But yeah, this, I love this mesh. So hopefully they'll get it in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's my affiliate link. So if anybody is looking for one of the mesh holders, tell your husbands to get it to you for Christmas if you don't have one. They're awesome. I love it. And if you're going to get one, get the ultimate because you know what? If you have just the one, you're going to be like, oh, I wish I could hold more. I wish it could hold more um, because I have the original one. And then I was like, you know what? I need the ultimate. <laughs> so with this, you can do three rolls of mesh, three rolls of 21 inch mesh at a time, or I think six rolls of um, 10 inch mesh. I use, um, when you cut your mesh to 30 inches, it takes um, about a row, about a, a, a roll and a half. I am putting it in all of the pipe cleaners that I'm using. Um, 
I'm not putting it in the middle, but I still haven't even done the ones in the front yet. So it will fill in the middle. Hey, Luann, how are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, Susie. Yeah, I love Susie's stuff. It's really, and it's great quality, and I really like it. But I have different rolls of ribbon. That's why my um, things are a weird color. Um, some of my ribbon rolls wouldn't fit in it, and I happen to have these. So I just switched out the um, holders so that I could put my ribbon on it because I love to use it for cutting ribbon, too. Oh, no problem, Paula. So I just have, I think, two more to go on the bottom. And you can see this mesh is really um, filling it in really, really full already. Hey, Sheila. Well, welcome. I'm glad you found me. I mean, I haven't even done the inner row yet, so... They didn't have a lot of ribbon? Oh no, Sandy, that's terrible. Which one did you go to, the one in Willow Grove? Um, Trisha, this mesh came from Joann's last year, at the end of the year. And I only had these two rolls of it, which I'm really bummed out because this is beautiful mesh. So. Because it's nice and sparkly. I know, isn't it? It's really pretty mesh. I love it. I went to Joann's today because they had 20% off coupon. And I just got some stuff. Because all their Halloween stuff was like 60% off. And then I had the 20% off. So I just bought a couple rolls of like the 5.5 inch mesh. Because that's kind of hard to find. Not a lot. Yeah, okay. I wonder if the, um, the one up in Lancaster has any. Um, Sheila, this is, I'm using the 14 inch or 14 and a half inch frame from, um, from the Dollar, Dollar Tree. And this takes about a, um, yes. This takes about a roll and a half. Now, if you use like a work frame, you're probably going to use almost two full rolls. So it depends. Like this, I have, well, no, it should take about the same because it's 18 ties. But um, I know I love my computer like that. Okay, so as you guys can see, that's just the bottom row. Let me zoom out a little bit. I mean, that's just the bottom row. And I still have the inner row to do. So it's going to fill in the center with when you use the 30-inch ruffles, the 10 and a half inch. So I just have a couple more to do up here. Yeah, I, I went, um, I want to say it was in Lancaster, the one. Hey, Teresa, welcome. Um, I don't think it's considered Lancaster, but I forget what the address is, but, um, when they first came out and I haven't been back. So, hey, Terry Gonzalez, how are you? Yes, I just put one in each pipe cleaner. Yep. Yep. It's 10, 10 inch mesh cut to 30 inches and you just put one in each pipe cleaner and it really fills up a wreath nicely and I don't know, I think most of the time you know, I do the ruffle method. I don't know, I just love it. Okay, so you can see that that's just one. This is going to fill in the whole center by the time you get done adding all of your ruffles. Oh, no. Oh, thanks, Terry. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I love this method. I tend to do this in the poof. I don't, I, I do do curls sometimes, but not a lot. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a pretty easy method to do. If you're a beginner, I would suggest starting out with this method. Um, it's pretty foolproof and it makes a beautiful wreath. I know Jasmine, right? Hey, Sheila, how are you? Hey, Melba. 
Okay, so then you just want to make sure when you put it on that you, you know, kind of spread out your ruffles too, so they're not all like bunched in a little bunch, so. Yeah, this mesh is gorgeous. <clears throat> hey, Donna from Texas, how are you doing? So again, it's just 10 inch mesh cut to 30 inches and I'm doing the ruffle method and we are doing a gingerbread plush kit. Okay. So it's really, I mean, this mesh is, is gorgeous. Oh, thanks, Tracy. Yeah, I, I think that I like the ruffle method and I think it's good. Um, hey, Rosalia, how are you? It's good for, um, like, if you have a screen door. Now, what I mean by um, spreading it out is see how this one is kind of all folded here? You want to kind of spread it out so it makes that nice little ruffle. I know, doesn't it? And this mesh is just, whew. Hey, Sabrina. Oh, well, thanks for stopping in. Yep, just save it. Um, share it to your share it and it will go on your page and then you can watch it anytime you want. So guys, I'm so excited. I'm almost to 7,000 likes. So if you guys could, if you don't already like and follow my page, please do so. So. And then, like I said, I don't leave that, um, the rough edge hanging out. I always just fold it under just so it kind of looks a little, um, a little more finished. Oh, thank you, Jane. I appreciate that. So it doesn't, you know, kind of have that rough edge to it. And then I just stick one in each tie. And when you get to this end, you kind of have to fight to find the ties, too. Thank you for sharing. Oh, thanks, Sandy. But you see, I mean, I have two more to do, and it's going to definitely fill in the center. So, thank you, Donna. So, again, I just, I just fold in just a little so the rough edge isn't hanging out. And then you just kind of want it, when you do your ruffles, you want to kind of stay in the center so they don't go all wonky. Thanks for sharing, Judy. This mesh came from Hobby Lobby at the end of last year. Or, I'm sorry, not Hobby Lobby. Um, from Joanne's Fabric. Hey, Christina, how are you? And it's really a beautiful mesh. I just love it. And you almost hate to cover it up at all because it's so pretty. The ruffle is 10 inches wide, and I cut them to 30 inches. Hey Cheryl, how are you? Again, you just want to spread out those ruffles so they don't all bunch together. Thank you for sharing. And I have one more to go. And again, I just fold that you know little edge in and then just start gathering. You kind of want to um, stay in the center so your ruffles don't go all wonky. Hey Christina from Pittsburgh. My husband is from Pittsburgh. Hey, Christina. I have 18 ties on because what I do is I put six on the inner row, one at each crossbar, and then on the third row, not the very outer row, I put um, one, a half of one on each crossbar, and then I put one in between. So now with this mesh I probably could have gotten away with just um you know one in between the crossbars because this is really a nice mesh I used all um, about one and a half rolls so and I'm just gonna go and just get rid of the little stragglers that are going out here you don't want to pull them because they could unravel so I'm just kind of do that okay so that's what it looks like as you can see it really does you know it fills in the center really nicely and then um okay so 
So I have my little guy. Look how cute he is. And I also have, let me see some, yes, 18 ties to, so I, let me grab something real quick. Sorry, guys. No, I thought this was going to be a teal, but it's a blue. No. Okay. So um, next what I'm going to do is, let's see here. Hey, Shirley. So what I have now is I have four different ribbons and I cut them to 14 inches. I have this um, teal with a little red dot. And these all came from, I think, Michael's. No, that one didn't. But these, the rest of the three came from Michael's. No, nope, Joanne's. Michael's, Michael's. So these two came from Michael's last year. Um, this one came from a local um, wholesale place. And this one came from Joanne's last year. Please show the back and explain the pipe cleaners. Okay. So I don't have one made here. So what I do, let me get a, let me get a, um, here and I do have a video on how to make your own work frame um, in my video section hey Janet how are you so what I do is here's your frame okay so I put a full pipe cleaner on the very inner row on each of where this divider is where the um, not divider but the the bracket is okay so I put one here 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 and here so that's six okay and then what I do is on I don't do it on the fourth row I do it on the third row I put a half a pipe cleaner at each crossbar and then I put a full pipe cleaner in between these two crossbars I just kind of eyeball it and put it in the middle now the reason I do that and this is just something that I personally started doing I only put half pipe cleaners here and here and when I do my streamers I don't put them in the half ones here because I have I'll put the streamers here here and here I just think it overlaps so much that it's kind of they kind of get lost so that's personally what I do you can do it however you would like to do it that's just how I do it okay I use the Dollar Tree frames. They're like 14, 14 and a half inches. So, and look how full that is. I'm loving it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate the um, four ribbons. So I'm going to do two sets. I'm going to put these two together, which is the gingerbread men and the little candy. And then I'm going to put this and this together. Okay, so that's um, oh, you're welcome, Jasmine. So, and I'm just going to lay them on top of each other. And these are cut to 14 inches. Fold them in half. And then gather them together. And then I'm going to put them in the pipe cleaners. Yeah, um, that's just something that I started doing, Shirley. I don't know. Hey, Rose, how are you? You make your own, um, you make your own, always good to have a few around when I'm in her. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, it is the ruffle method, Freddie. Yep. I just kind of, I started out making them, the wreath frames, and I kind of like, that's my go-to. I don't know. I just, I don't like using work frames now. Isn't that weird? And I know most people are like, oh, work frames are the best. And they probably are, but I think it's just what I kind of got used to. All right, so I did um, one set of this, and now I'm doing another set, and I'm doing it the same way, just putting them together and folding them in half and then adding them to the tie. And I just thought this teal was, oh, thanks, Freddie. Um, just added a little kind of punch to, the, to all the red and the white and stuff, so. Now, when you're doing something with a print like this, like you see how they all go one way, 
you want to make sure that you follow that the same way. So you're not putting in like this. So these face this way, that face that way. You kind of want to um, make sure they face the same way. Yeah, it saves a little bit. I mean, the work wreaths can be like 5 or $6. So I think it saves a little money. So, yeah, so when you're using that, you always kind of want to look and make sure that they're all facing the same direction. Like I said, this teal kind of really um, kind of makes it punch, I think, makes it stand out. I do not. I do not undo my ties. I just put everything right on top. I don't untwist to put anything in. Oh, I just got the alert. I set it for 7.30 instead of 6.30. That's what I did. I am sorry, guys. So sorry. You guys are all probably just getting your alerts. <laughs> yes, these are ruffle, ruffle slim. Yep. See? I knew I did something wrong. I must have set it for 7.30 instead of 6.30 because usually I send it out at 6.30. I know. Sorry, Trisha. <laughs> I knew. I was like, why did that night? And I was with my grandbabies and I just got home. So I was like, oh, I set it all up. So I thought it was going to um, work, but I must have set it up wrong. So I apologize for that. But if you don't already like and follow my page, please do so. If you don't get alerts, and would like to get them, um, just type live in the comments. And once you type live in the comments, you will um, get a message back. You have to respond to that message in order to get the alerts. Yay, Angie. See, I know. Sorry, guys. Um, type live, Lynn. Type live. Oh, it's 6.30 there. So maybe you were right on time, Tricia. <laughs> Yeah, so you should get a, um, a message right back, Lynn. Okay, got one more. You kind of get lost in all these and have to try and find them. Yep, don't forget to respond to the message. Um, once you get the message back from the alert. I know, right, Luann? I did it wrong. I must have set it up for 7.30 instead of 6.30. I apologize, guys. <sighs> yeah, so make sure you respond. Make sure you let me know if you get your message and then respond to it because um, you do have to do that. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Yay, <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> I know. I messed that one up, really. Oh, well. Okay, so that's with it just um, in the inner row. So I'm loving this punch of teal. I think that really makes it look nice. All right, so then I'm going to start on the bottom row. Now, remember, I don't put the streamers in the ones where the crossbars are. It's just, I think they just, it's just too much. I know, right, Debbie? I'm I'm sorry. I must have set it, I usually set it to send at 6.30, and I must have hit 7.30 and said, I apologize for that. So hopefully, but I did schedule it, so I was hoping that if I mess something up, <laughs> thanks Susie, um, that you guys would at least get that, so hopefully. <laughs> thanks, Luann. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you when you come back. Oh, hey, you know what? What are you going to do? It is what it is. You can't, you can't change things. Finding the wreaths for the, oh, really? Yeah, I got them. Um, like I said, I got them at the Dollar Tree. I'm sure you could just get, you know, go to Michael's or AC Moore or anything like that and just buy two different size um, of the grapevine wreaths. You know, I'm sure they're going to cost a little more, but. Um, oh, you got your alert 20 minutes ago. The ruffles are 30 inches. Hey, Gail, how are you? If you want to buy work wreath forms, you can get them at, um, Deco Exchange sells them. You can get them at, um, Craft Outlet. 
those kind of places. Now everyone's responding that I'm going to be live. I am so sorry, guys. That's crazy. Hey, Jane, how are you? Good to see you again. Thank you for sharing. Much, much appreciated. So, Jean, what time is it over in Australia right now? Oh, sorry, Melanie. <laughs> so, what I'm doing is I'm just putting the um, streamers in. Um, thank you, Janie. In each of the, the full-size pipe cleaners. And the streamers I cut to 14 inches. And so I just put the one and a half on top of the two and a half. I fold it in half. And then I, oh, 9.30 Friday morning. Oh, boy. And then I pinch it. And then I just put it in my next full pipe cleaner. And then when you get your streamers, you kind of want to go from the bottom and kind of curl them up a little bit like that. Okay. Now, see, the other one is here, that half pipe cleaner. So if I put one there, they'd really almost be sitting on top of each other. And I kind of like some of the mesh to show a little bit. Um, but again, that's just me. You can, you know, if you want to use full pipe cleaners in all of them. Hey, Rose, how are you? You can definitely do that, um, and you can put the streamers in it, or you don't have to. It's up to you. So it's just kind of something that I started doing, and I just kind of got stuck on it, and I just kind of like the way it looks. Some people really um, cover up all their mesh. Some people, you know, like all the mesh covered. It's just a beautiful base, but I do like to see some of the mesh. Okay, so we have one more to go, and then we're done with the streamers. I will, I will, um, when I'm done putting everything in, because I'm not sure what else I'm going to do yet, I will either, um, I, with the pipe cleaners, I will take them and I'll um, curl them around a dowel and, um, kind of make them part of the decoration. I don't cut them off, um, but I just kind of leave them. Okay. It took about a roll and a half. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now with all the streamers. And yeah, I do too. I like some of the mesh to show, especially this mesh, because this mesh is really pretty. All right, now I'm going to put the attachment on now because I also have some other things that I'm thinking of adding. So, um, the mesh is in everyone. Yes, yes. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, Peggy. I totally messed that up. So for just this method, I've got mine a little different. Um, no, I do my pipe cleaners the same, whether I do the poof method, or whether I do anything, I do the same method. Um, like I said, it's just something that I started doing, and um, I kind of like it that way, but you can totally do it any way. That works for you. So let's see. I know. I'm sorry, Sandy. Like I said, I totally goofed that. So I think I'm going to put the head about there. Yep, I totally messed that one up. My fault. And then you just kind of want to um, feed it through the mesh. Yeah, I like some of it to show. So, you know, especially mesh this pretty because it's it's really cute. And to feed this through and tie it off. I know, isn't he cute, Susie? I got him from Craft Outlet. Yeah, I think so too. All right, so got that there. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it loosely first to make sure um, that this is where I like it. I used the ruffle method, and I did 10-inch mesh, and, um, whoops, 
and I did them um, 30 inches. Oh, I'm sorry, Sandy. I'm glad you're here. I cut six. I used six different, or I'm sorry, I used four different ribbons. So I cut six of each. And I um, alternated them in um, the in the tails, in the pipe cleaners. Hey, Debbie, I'm glad you're here. Hey, Trisha. All right, so then I'm just taking this, and like I said, I'm feeding it through the mesh and then wrapping it around the frame so it doesn't slide around. Oh, really, Angie? Well, then this wreath must be meant for you. No problem, Paula. All right, so I kind of do it loosely at first until I know that that's where I want him because sometimes I end up moving them around. So um, we'll see. All right. Oh, cute. I know, I really like the gingerbread people. They're cute. So I have the little arms. Cut this little tag off here. Oh, sure. I would definitely show you guys how to do a candy cane. I know, Barb. I You got another one? No, that's weird. Yeah, I um, totally messed it up. I put... I, I put the wrong time in, so I apologize for that. Okay, let's see here. Put his little arms in. This mesh came from Joanne Fabrics last year. It was like at the end of the year I found it. So. The glue gun I got from Amazon. And I do have, let me pull up my affiliate link for that if you guys are interested in the glue gun. So that is my affiliate link for the glue gun if you guys are interested. I love my glue gun. Okay, put this one here. get it fed through the mesh. Okay. And these wires are really long, so I will cut them off once I know I have them where I want them, and it all looks good. <clears throat> Tighten that one up. All right, then we're going to add the little legs here. Look how cute it is. All right, so then we will add the little legs down here. Um, the gingerbread um, plush kit came from Craft Outlet. Yeah. Not sure. Let's see. Add this down here. These wires are so long, but you never know. Like I said, I don't really tighten them until I know for sure that that's where I want them to go. Back here. Oh, thanks, Tammy. All right, so. We always end up, um, all right, and that's totally the wrong spot. Let me it over here. Just sliding around, money. Yes, it definitely will be for sale in my Etsy shop as soon as I get done here. 
I will, um, once I get pictures of it and get it posted, it will definitely be in my Etsy shop. Okay, so that's tentatively where they're going to be. I'm going to tighten them up. Craft Outlet. It's craftoutlet.com. All right, so now I have a couple different things here I was thinking of adding. I have these little picks. Aren't they cute? So I have those. I was thinking of adding in there or, whoops, it's just popped off. I'll have to glue them back on. Okay. Is that going? Okay, so I have those. And then, wait till you guys see this. Okay, so then I have. I have these gingerbread picks. Look how cute they are. Or I have these. Okay, so help me decide which picks I should use. Or maybe I should use like alternate this and one of these. So um, let's see. Um, I don't have another gingerbread um, plush kit, but I know I have more um, gingerbread. If I can get another plush kit, I will definitely make one, Mary. Um, just let me know. Hey, Alan from Manchester in the UK. Wow, welcome. All right, so I also have, which let me see. I don't have a lot of these. I have a couple of these, but I have... The candy canes too. All right, so, all right, all right, let me know. Okay, vote. Do you want the candy canes or the Christmas balls? Candy canes or balls? So we're going to go with this, one of these and every other one, and then one of these and every other one. So help me decide which one of these we're going to put in every other one first, the candy canes or the little balls. Jasmine says candy canes. Candy. We're voting on these first, Janet. So, <laughs> Okay, no problem, Mary. Oh, awesome. The candy canes. Okay. Candy canes. Okay, so we'll put the candy canes in every other one. And then which guys, which gingerbread guy? The one with the um, decorations or this one. So the smaller one or the bigger one. Let me decide which one of these. Okay, so we got the candy canes. So we're gonna put those in every other one. So which one of the gingerbread men are we gonna do? The small one, small, Okay, Sandy says the candy cane, so we're definitely going to do the candy canes, and everyone's saying the small. Okay, so let me see how many of these I have. Okay. All right, so um, this is a 14-inch ribbon, um, or 14-inch frame, and the mesh is um, 10 inches and I cut to I cut them I cut the mesh to 30 inches long all right so all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the candy canes in the streamers which I don't want to put it in the middle of his legs got to learn that lesson <laughs> So I think I'm going to put the candy canes in where this is. Now, I also was thinking, do I put a sign in the middle? Or do I put a bow in the middle? I don't know. Questions, questions. Thinking about the sign, too. All right. Let's get these done first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in each one of these. So that's why I don't 
do anything with these until I know for sure what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around a bow, no sign. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'm just going to wrap it around where um, the ties are and attach it in really good. And then, you see, I attached it in there. And then I'm just going to take this and wrap it around also. Um, I got the um, gingerbread from um, Craft Outlet. Okay, so now I know I'm not going to put anything else in here. So I'm going to take my um, dowel and I'm just going to take my pipe cleaners. I'm going to wrap it around. Okay. Because I know I'm not going to put anything else in that. So then I'm just going to kind of spread them out a little bit. Yes, this ruffles, 30 inch ruffles. Okay. And then I'm going to use, let's do all these first. Yes, it's 30 inch ruffles. Okay, so I'm going to put these in. Ew, I didn't want that there. I wanted that where? Well, now see, I wasn't paying attention because I'm going to put the gingerbreads in where they are, where these are. Yeah, it's 30 inch ruffles. Yep. All right. So I'm putting these where the gingerbread ribbon is. And then I'm going to put the gingerbread men in where the um, candy cane ribbon is. The smaller gingerbread. Oh, that would look cute, Sandy. Yeah. All right. So let's try this again. Wrap it around. And then I'm going to use these to secure it there. Yeah, like she's holding the little, um, like a little gingerbread person. Yeah, that would be cute. All right. So. And then I'm just going to wrap that around. Hope you guys can see that. Hands in the way there. Okay. I'm probably going to end up moving these hands around. All right. So then where the um, candy cane ribbon is, we decided on the smaller ones, right? So let me cut the tag off here. I'm going to put the gingerbread in here. Yeah, the bow would look cute too. That is a good idea. All right, so what I'm going to do is again feed this in like under where the tie is. And I'm going to use the um, the wire from the from the pick and kind of wrap it around it so it secures it really well. Hey, Ann, how are you? Hey, Donna, welcome. Okay, so it kind of really secures it in there. And then I'll take the ties, the twist ties, and wrap it around there also. So that's not going anywhere. All right, and then down a little bit. Okay. All right, then this one is the candy cane. So again, I'm just taking the pick and the stem of the pick and I'm wrapping it around the tie so that it gives it more holding power there. <laughs> uh, well, Jackie's making me some signs. Hopefully she's making me some gingerbread signs. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just wrapping it there. And these can be a little hard to fight with, but they are not going to go anywhere once you get them wrapped around there and then wrap the pipe cleaners around it also. them out a little bit and see they're not going anywhere like they're in there oh well I'm glad you have power again Bonnie do you have a lot of damage okay so then I'm gonna do the, get these guys Add that in. Hey, Mary Ellen, how are you? I'm just going to make sure you don't cut yourself, cut the tags off. Okay, again, wrap it around. And it really secures it well. It takes a little time. Um, but it really wraps it and it they don't go anywhere but you kind of have to fight with it to find it in there okay and then again i'm just taping it and wrapping it around so it's really secure in there and then taking the pipe cleaners and wrapping it around as well. These small gingerbread men I got at Joann's. Yep, I got them all at Joann's again last year. End of the season. Okay, so. Okay. I'm going to end up moving those hands and thinking for sure. All right, now. And I have to move these legs. No problem. And these strings are driving me crazy. So this is what I'm going to do. that off. That is driving me insane. I am just going to use a pipe cleaner because they're driving me crazy. I'm just going to take that out of there. I'm going to feed a pipe cleaner. All right, so and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, if I can find the same hole, which if I can't, no biggie. Okay. And, ooh, needles in your hands, Teresa, that does not sound like fun. This is going to hold it a little better. I just don't like those. They drive me crazy. So I'm going to take these off. Oh, thanks, Cindy. All right. So get rid of these, get rid of these, get rid of these. Hey, Della. I should have just taken them off to start, but. And now I thought, oh, I'll make them work. Oh, wow. I'm sure there's flooding everywhere. There's flooding. Oh, the PD. Oh, I'm sure, because that's a low-lying. Um, 
Yeah, we, you know, go to Myrtle Beach every year, so I just, I can't even, I'm hoping that everything's okay down there. I'm sure a lot of people had to be rescued. And that is scary. I mean, I saw this video. Tell me if you guys saw this. Um, a little puppy dog. Oh my gosh, it broke my heart. This um, camera crew saw. And um, he was, you know, being swept away by the water. And he kept climbing on top of, um, you know, like boards and all kinds of stuff to try and... Um, you know, hold on, and it was just terrible. I mean, he kept getting swept under, and finally the um, camera crew was able to get him. The form is a 14-inch um, wreath form from the Dollar Tree, and I used 10-inch um, mesh with 30-inch ruffles. And I'm taking these out because I can't stand them. Um, and then I did... Um, 14 inch streamers and put that on. I'm just putting this little guy on here. Doing some operating. Operating on this little girl, little guy. Oh, you think that was last year? Oh, that poor little puppy eye was like, oh, please tell me you're going to go try and save him. About that poor thing. It was trying so hard. Yeah, sometimes I'll use them, but a lot of times I take them out. They're just such a pain. Of course, I can't get it through now. There we go. Yeah, this just these are so much easier to use. I'm trying to use those big wires, and they're thick, and they're hard to work with and hey Sandra how are you so I should have just done this from the beginning but oh wow I know I can't I just can't even imagine like trying you know what the damage is and you see all those poor people and their houses are just underwater um i don't know i just and you know it's going to be years it's going to be years till they are able to fix things you know and will they get everything back and uh it's just heartbreaking all right so i'm going to put these over here and we're going to finish this way. okay so that 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 and let's see here. And I'm kind of thinking I want to put a bow in here because, let's see here. Well, let's try this again. Let's try this again. You're tired of being tired? Yeah, I hear you. Hey, Steven, how's it going? How's the, how's the pain today? Poor Steven, he's battling some neck and back pain, which that is no fun. Okay, so let me make sure that's where I want that. Come on, guys, I'm struggling today. So I want this one over here, right there. Thanks, Luann. I know, this one's fighting with me. This one's fighting, fighting, fighting. <clears throat> Does not want to cooperate. I finally got it. Thank you, thank you, thank 
lower back. Oh, are you, you're not back at work, are you, Stephen? Like, I'm hoping that they didn't make you go back to work. Okay, so that one there. This one here. Oh, wow. Yeah, the flooding is just, it's crazy everywhere with everything going on. Hey, Anna, how are you? And what I do sometimes, too, is I will go back and just hit this with a little hot glue so they don't slide around if they're not attached to a, um, like a thing there. All right, so that's those. And let's put one of these here. I, I don't know. I think I'm leaning towards a bow, but did everyone decide if they like the bow idea or the, um, the sign idea? Yeah, that's true. That's true, Stephen. You kind of have to you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, you got to pay the bills, right? I hear you on that one. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Okay, so that one's there. All right, so let's put this one here. And I'm thinking I may have to add wire to those legs. No, I think they'll fit fine. They'll sit fine once I, you know, you put it against. Cindy, Cindy, how are you? Tell Jack I said hi. Okay. All right. We are moving along. I feel like this is taking me forever tonight. Sorry, guys. I usually try and, you know, less than an hour, but for an hour, you know? Okay, so. Okay, now. Oh, now that's better. Okay, so now I think because that's there, I can put those here. What's the bow look like? I haven't made a bow yet. So we can make one and give it a shot. I don't know. I like the bow idea and I like the, um, but I do like the sign too. So we'll make a bow and we'll see what we end up with. You like the sign idea? Yeah, I like both of them actually. So I think we're just going to have to See what it looks like although the person who buys it can always let me know if they like the sign better or they like the bow better okay put that there and then um let's see these. So, 
I'm not going to add any of those and you know any of the picks into here because if we do the sign or that um, you know it'll cover that so okay so that's the last one of those. All right, so let's, um, Penny, I'm not sure yet until I add up everything I put into it, you know, with all the picks and stuff. So I don't have a price yet. Whoops, did I just throw that on the floor? I did. Okay, so let's get this stuff out of the way. And let's make a bow and see how we like the bow or not. Oh, thanks, Cindy. All right, so let me get my bow maker out here. Get my ribbon holders. I need this so my bow doesn't slide around, my bow maker doesn't slide around. You guys know I normally do the um, variation of the Terry bow. I say my variation because I'm sure I don't do it exactly like it's done, but I just do it my way. Okay, so then I'm going to use my wire, and I usually cut it to about, I don't know, about 30 inches, and we're going to need two pieces. Oh, thanks. Debbie. Okay, and then you just take the wire and fold it in half. Put that to the side for now. Okay. Red ribbon here. I'm going to use this ribbon again. And my red. And this. Okay, so. Right, let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see it a little better. So what I do is I wrap it around here. And then I take my first wire. And I wrap it around this. And this is just basically your starter wire to um, get your bow started. Just wrap it around there a couple times so it's nice and tight. Okay. And you have one up and one down. The one up, you take and you wrap it around your center peg here so it's out of the way. And then the bottom one, there's a nail down here. You just wrap it once around the nail and then slide it under your board. And then cut your dovetails. Okay. And then put those up there. All right. So now I'll take the next ribbon and dovetail the ends. And we're going to take our helping hand wire, that second wire. You're going to put it through the middle here to the right of the center peg and then to the back. You know, we haven't done a bow party in a while. We need to do another close up bow party, don't we, guys? Okay. So that helping hand wire is just helps you hold all of your um, ribbons in place now. So I measure it out to the C and then I just gather it. Put it in here. Wrap around this one. Gather it. Twist. Wrap it around this one. 
together, twist, and then I'm going to tie that off. And you just want to do one twist because you don't want it bulky in the back. Okay, okay. put that up there. Our third one. I'm going to dovetail this. And basically we're going to do the same thing. You're going to gather it, put it in the back here, put the tails up here. Gather it, twist, wrap it around, and gather it, and twist. Yes, you do, Christine. I cannot live without my Provo. I love my Provo. And I do have, let me see, a um, affiliate link for the Pro Bow. So if you guys need the Pro Bow, you can use this link. I just get, you know, a couple pennies from it. All right, so then I'm going to do, so I'm, this is all one and a half inch. Using four one and a half inch, I'm going to go back to the red and use the red again. And dovetail that. Measure it out to the C. Okay. You're welcome, Christine. And do the same thing. Twist around and then tie that one off. All right, so we used um, the one and a half and you can use four different ribbons or you can alternate two of them, whichever one you'd like. And then we are done with the one and a half inch ribbon. So let me get this out of the way here. Okay, guys, now the next plush kit I have, I have, what do I have? I have a, I know, isn't it pretty? Susie, I love the red and the teal. I have um, Santas, I have snowmen, I have reindeer, I have elves. Um, what else do I have? I have a bunch of different plush kits. So what do you guys, what would you guys like me to make next? To show you the kits once we get done and see which ones you like. All right, so get this out of the way. Okay, then I'm going to use this candy cane ribbon. And I'm going to put those two together. I'm going to pull them at the same time. I'm going to dovetail this. And I like this bow because it really makes a nice full bow. And again, I'm just measuring out to the C. And I'm going to attach it there. And then this time I'm going to wrap it around all of the pegs. I'm not going to cut off after each one. So I'm pulling both of the two and a half inch ribbons together at the same time. And I'm going to wrap it around each of the three remaining pegs. And this, um, the reindeer or the snowman, okay? Oh, and you know what else? We have to make our... Um, a couple people were asking me about making a tomato cage snowman. So um, I will get you that um, supply list. And whoever wants to make that with me, we were going to do it on a Zoom call. Regather that. Oh, I hate when my bill makers slide around. 
And you don't have to tie it off every time because it'll, it'll pretty much stay there for you. You know what? I have never done a lantern. In fact, someone else asked me to do one, and um, I should do one. I've just I've never done one, so it would be a fun project to do. Okay, so then I'm going to tie this off because we are done. Thanks, Glenda. All right, so what I do is now I'm done with the helping hand wire. Now, some people cut it off. I tend to wrap the two together. It kind of gives it a little more strength. So I just wrap it together. Even cut this off here, and I unwrap the wire from around the center peg. Now, when you're doing this, you want to make sure you put your finger there and feel and make sure that you get it all unwound because if you don't, you're going to have a problem with your bow. Okay, and then I take these two and I pull it as tight as you can get it, and then start twisting these two together. It does, doesn't it, Debbie? Yeah, I think so, too. It does make you think of children. It's just fun and whimsical, and I love the colors in it, and love the mesh. Okay. All right. Done. So let's get this bow fluffed out and see what we think. Now when you take the bow off of the pro bow, what you want, the easiest thing to do is take this middle peg out and then it'll just lift right off of that. Now you can buy the fluff box from um, probothehand.com or you can make your own. They're very easy to make. I made my own. You just need something heavy to hold the wreath, the bow down while you're tugging on it. And then you just want to fluff. When you have it on the fluff box, you can really kind of yank at those ribbons and get them to go exactly where you want them to go. All right, we'll do this side. And this just I like this bow because it makes a really full bow. Um, I put old kitchen tiles because they're really heavy. So I put those in there so it kind of weights it, you know, weighted the box down. But you can just put rocks. You can really put anything in there that you want. Okay. So now we're going to start. These. Okay. 
Oh, a piece of steel? Where did he where did he put the um piece of steel? Like instead of the um instead of the eye hook, you mean? That's pretty cool. And, you know, I always make my tails longer than they need to be because I always want to make sure that I have enough of a tail. Then I get them in their way too long, so I always figure it's um, better to make them too long and you can cut them off rather than make them too short and then, you know, you're stuck. Yes, inside of the fluff box, yep. Yeah, it's just, um, Bond, it's to hold the box, like keep it heavy, and um, it makes it nice and heavy. Okay. Build the box room. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to take this little guy. Ribbon the other way. Let's add the bow. Okay, and I you want to kind of feed the bow through, yeah, so it's heavy. Um, through the mesh so it sits on top of the mesh, it doesn't get like pulled down into the mesh as much. So then you kind of have to feed it through there. on this mesh. Oh, I think I'm liking the bow. <laughs> but like I said, whoever buys it, if you decide you'd rather have the sign, I can switch it out. Right, because you want the fluff box to be um, weighted down. So when you're tugging on your ribbons, it's not um, it's not moving around. Um, the box is a 12 by 12. It's just a 12 by 12 box, and it um, you know just to kind of hold it down. Now, some people just put a, um, like an eye hook on their board, too. But my board slides around, so I, think I like the bow. I think it's going, Alan. I think I'm finally getting it done. I'm sorry, guys. I usually don't try to keep you on here more than an hour. All right. Let me zoom back out and see what you guys think. All right. Oops, turn this other light around here. Whoops. Twist it. Here we go. I know, right? I kind of like the bow in the middle. Kind of looks like she's holding the bow, you know? Yep. I'm loving it. But like I said, if whoever, you know, wants to buy it, if you decide that you'd rather have the sign, I can just take the um, the bow out and add the sign. But I think it turned out adorable. What do you guys think? Yep. So I will get pictures. Oh, my goodness. For the last 12 hours, that's a lot of work. Okay, so that is that. I think she turned out cute. Well, she, he, I don't know, but I think she's cute. All right, but I will get it listed. And like I said, if anyone that's watching this, um, let me show you some of the, oh, I think I put them up. Oh, perfection. Some of the kits I have. Let's see which guys you want me to make next. Oh. Oh, I 
have a snowman one. Let me see what this one looks like. This is the Santa. Let's see what he looks like. I haven't even opened them yet. Okay, so this is the Santa. Like, look, with the arms, like he's hugging a wreath. Isn't that cute? Regina, the sign looks like this. It says, Candy Canes, North Pole's Finest. So either or. Um, then I have a snowman like that. And I have, love this little guy. I bought a couple of these. So I did post some of these in my um, Etsy shop. Look, the elf with the legs and the hands. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let me get this stuff out. All right, so the sign looks like this. Okay, so this is it with the, oops, get my legs going out here, like that. Or you can have it with the, just the sign. I would take the bow out and put the sign in. I know, isn't that elf cute? Oh, love it. Do the elf? Okay. I have some cute mesh for that too. Can't wait. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's going to be a tough decision. I think whoever gets this is going to have a hard decision to decide if they want the bow or the, the sign. But um, as soon as I get it posted, I will um, put it on my um, page. And then whoever wants it can get it. All right. Leave the bow. I think so too, but oh well. Yeah, maybe we'll bow. Okay, so that's it for tonight. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I think I'll come back on and do the, um, maybe that elf. That elf is adorable. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're interested in this guy, shoot me a message and I will um, send you the link if you want this guy. So, all right. Thanks guys. Have a wonderful Friday and we will see you next week. If not before, probably before I'm thinking before, but anyway, all right. Have a great day guys. Thank you so much.